What's going on everybody? Austin here from Mighty with another how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and operate an LTD Speedster. Let's go ahead and get started. So first step with a new machine is we want to make sure all of the accessories are installed properly. I already have my hanger for the chemical jug pre-installed. There's going to be two screws in the bag that you can use to attach that. Next, we're going to want to uh, attach the chemical jug to the proper hose. I'm going to take the chemical metering hose that will be inside your clean water tank. It is the one with the filter, not the one without the filter. And we're going to put it through so it fits in that gap right there with the lid. I'm going to take the filter off and my white cap off so that it can fit through. Thread it, reinsert, screw it on. There we go. Now my chemical jug is ready to go. Inside your tank, there's also a white mesh bag that is gonna go over the filter for your APO. Double check inside to make sure it is in the proper position. Now we're ready to set up. The first step is gonna to be to connect to power. You're gonna have two included power cables. The twist lock side is gonna go into the recessed receptacle on the back of the machine. And the standard plug is gonna go into a 20 amp outlet. When I connect these two plugs into separate circuits, I will see a light and hear a tone. This lets me know that I have sufficient power and we are ready to go. Okay guys, so next we're gonna go ahead and fill our machine up with water. I can either use a bucket and the uh, front port to fill the 11 gallon tanks up, or I can set up our auto fill, which will continuously fill our tank with water. There's a shut off once the tank is full. I'm gonna take the included quarter inch uh, garden hose adapter here and connect that to the auto fill port here on the right. There we go, now my autofill is set up. The other end of this hose, I'm gonna connect to a water source, turn it on, uh, and it will shut itself off when my tank is full. While we're back here, I might as well set up our pump out at the same time. I'm going to take the other adapter and a standard garden hose as well, connect that to the quick connect fitting on the left, that is our pump out. The other end of the hose, I'm gonna place in an appropriate place for draining, and now we have uh, fill and pump out set up and ready to go. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and connect our cleaning tool. I've got my hose here. We're gonna start with the machine side. I connect my water line to the quick connect there on the front, like that. And then my vacuum hose is connected to the vacuum inlet port using the included cuff links. And that just twists right on. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other side of the hose to connect to my tool. So first, I connect my air line like that, and then my quick connect at the bottom completes my solution line, and now this hose is ready to go. So we are ready to go ahead and get started here, guys. We've got our tool connected, we have power, we have water. The first step is going to be to prime our pump. So I'm first gonna make sure that this ball valve is in the prime position like it currently is, not in the run position like that. I'm gonna go find my wash hose slash prime hose this is the other side of the ball valve. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my pump on. So now you'll see that water will be coming out of this hose. We wanna wait until we have a nice steady flow that's not choppy, that doesn't have bubbles in it, which it looks like we have now. So if I have a cold unit, I can go ahead and hit the vacuum switches and get cleaning now. These two are the vacuum switches. Uh, this is a heated unit, so first I want to get my heater preheated. The three position rocker on the left side here is my heater switch. I have both an option for 600 watts of heat. If I don't have a 20 amp circuit available to me, I can run this second cord off a 15 amp circuit instead using the low heat option. But we have a 20 amp circuit, so we're going to go ahead and put it at the bottom position. That's the full 1600 watts of heat. We're gonna give it about seven to 10 minutes to come fully up to temp, and we'll be right back. So we're back, it's been 10 minutes. We are up to temperature, we're ready to get going. Uh, at this point, if I am gonna be using chemical metering, this is the time to set it. 
If I do not want to use it, I want to make sure that this valve is tightly closed to prevent any air getting sucked into my system. I just twist this knob until I see the ball float start to raise. Uh, and I'm going to set that to the gallon per hour that is recommended by my chemical manufacturer, whatever I have in this tank. Uh, so that's what I'm going to set mine. We're ready to get going. Now I'm going to switch on both my vacuums. I'm going to switch on my auto pump out now. And I'm going to turn my uh, ball valve here to the run position. And we can go ahead and get cleaning. All right guys, so we are all done cleaning. It is time to empty out our machine. If you had the APO set up, there's probably not much left in the tank, but whatever is in there, we're gonna go ahead and use the gate valve here on the back to empty into a drain or into a bucket. So now that we've emptied all of the dirty water out of our recovery tank, at the end of the day, after all of our jobs, it is a good idea to clean out our tank. We made that nice and easy. You can grab the wash hose out of the clean water tank, uh, make sure that the ball valve is in the prime position, pull the lid off your machine here, and uh, insert the hose, turn your pump on, and it will spray water. You can use that to clean the inside of the tank. And you want to be sure not to spray any water into the vacuum stacks of the machine. Just rinsing off the sides like so. Okay. Now that we're clean, we're done with that, I can go ahead and empty any water that uh, is back in the tank out of the drain valve. Any remaining clean water that I have, I will empty through this port back here. And we have an empty clean machine. All right, guys, that is the end of our video. If you need any more information, go ahead and check out Mighty.com. You can also connect with us on Instagram, Twitter, or join our Facebook group, All Things Mighty. Thank you so much for watching. Have a mighty fine day.